we're like, listen, there's no fucking sign on my head with my lay count. There's no sign on your head that says zero girls or virgin, right? It's all about how you carry yourself in your internals. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today we are going to talk about how age is not an excuse. Okay, if you are a young guy watching this video, it's still important because the lesson will still apply to you. Okay, I'm gonna go over a client, a 47 year old, that had a hang up about his age. Okay, he had a girl in the club that told him he was too old. Okay, they called him, she said she could be, that he could be like her father or something like that or whatever. And it got in his head and now it, it became a self handicapping thing. And then he thought every girl that was younger was going to think he was too old. Okay, so he came to me, took a live program and I'm going to go over that story and how we, how we changed that for him. Okay, before we continue, if you are not yet a subscriber, if you are new to the channel, Please subscribe below, press the notification bell for new videos every day at 2 p.m. Eastern. Okay, and as always, if you're liking this video and you're getting a lot of value from it, please like and share, okay? So this guy, um, he's an Italian guy, but he, he grew up in California, but he, I think he's from Sicily or something like this. 47 years old, contacted me, told me the problem, and I've had plenty of clients like this in their 40s or 50s, okay? And it's not just the age thing that guys are worried about, okay? Guys start to lose their hair. No girl likes me because my hair is starting to go okay they put on a little weight no girl likes me because I'm overweight they get into their 40s or 50s no girl likes me because I'm too old an excuse after excuse after excuse no girl likes me because I'm Indian no girl likes me because I'm Asian no girl likes me because I'm not tall enough I'm not one of those fucking retards that says looks don't matter and, and everyone's on equal playing field okay like fucking Tyler from RSD oh we're all cut from the same cloth bullshit okay I have an advantage being six or four yes tall guys have an advantage okay if you're in decent shape you have an advantage over someone that's massively obese okay facts but what I tell guys is you have things you can optimize that are within your control okay you can't fucking change your age you can't change your height optimize what's in your control okay get into decent shape wear decent clothes and don't have to be super stylish just don't be a slob have ba basic facial grooming etc um, it's a threshold thing okay it's not gonna be some giant factor just optimize what you have to work with and then don't put more attention and consideration into it. You don't be worried about it handicapping yourself. So in this particular situation, this was in Warsaw, in Poland last year where I was living, last summer, we went out to the nightclub, okay? We ended up meeting a 19 and a 20 year old, okay? And they had some friend, I don't know how old that friend was. That one friend rolled off, me and the student took home the 19 and the 20 year old. First we, we moved venues, like we met them in this one venue, moved them to another venue, okay? We're dancing, stuff like that. Um, we bring them back to my place and I had a fuck buddy out with me as well, a rotation girl who turned out to be a undercover Polish reporter who was dating me for a few months and then wrote a whole article in Polish Playboy which was really cool and it was a very very positive article. She, she said she had an amazing experience with me. But on this particular night I had a threesome with my rotation girl and one of the girls and the student fucked the other college chick. Okay, these girls were from Krakow. We, this was in Warsaw, Poland. These girls were visiting from Krakow. And this was a 47 year old. And I'll put up his testimonial so you can hear his story. But this is a college age girl. This is a girl that's in her teen, teen years. Okay, that literally could have been his daughter. Okay, and we showed him. And what was cool is like after he was done with his chick, um, she came out and was like checking on her friend. And we're like, yeah, like blah, 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 we're having fun. Uh, the dude was like, like my night's complete, et cetera. And I was like, do you mind if we bring your chick in on, on what we're doing here? He's like, yeah, it's totally cool. So then I end up having a foursome with the two chicks and the, this was cool on the boot camps and the students, or sometimes the students can't close. I'll, I'll make another video where I had an Asian dude, this tall, okay, that pulled a six foot tall white chick. Okay, and we have that on infield cam footage camera so I can show that, that clip. And he couldn't close the girl. He let me talk to her and I ended up banging her and taking her virginity and then very same thing happened the next night. Not a not a tall white chick again, and not a virgin again, but the chick that he pulled he pulled again on night two. And the, I'm gonna make that video dispelling the myth that you know short Asian guys can't get laid because he crushed it, and now he's over 400 count. And he came to America not even speaking English. Okay, but this guy with with, with that example that, with the Asian guy that, that he brought home another girl the second night couldn't close again on it, and then he let me. Um, try and then a lot of guys don't have like their their game dialed in for once they pull back home once they get a girl back home but that's a topic for another video 
Anyways, the point is, oh, and then my rotation girl left during the foursome because she was jealous. She was like 33. Here's a 19 and 20 year old that were hotter than her. These girls were pretty hot and that's that. And so we removed that mental block from him. Okay, and I, and I get this all the time with students. They come on and they're handicapping themselves in some way because of something that they think is holding them back. And that, that is like the reason that why they're not getting success. Okay, that's pretty much it. I, I'm gonna show that testimonial. I want you guys to, to see that regardless of this particular thing that you think is stopping you, okay, even if it's the fact that you're a virgin, okay, because I even had another example like that. I'll make a separate video on that, where I had a guy in Las Vegas, this was back in 2013, and he said, listen, John, and at, at that point I was around, this was like mid-2013, I was at around 200 count, and he said, listen, John, 200, 250, it might have been towards the end of 2013. This is like seven fucking years ago, I was already at, mid 200s. He said, the girls respond positively to you because you've slept with a couple hundred girls. They respond negatively to me because I've been with zero because I'm a virgin. This was an, a short Indian dude. And I said, listen, man, and I was with my old business partner, Josh. I'm like, we're like, listen, there's no fucking sign on my head with my lay count. There's no sign on your head that says zero girls are virgin, right? It's all about how you carry yourself and your internals. If you come in and think that you're the man and you act like the man, okay, Chicks are gonna respond positively. Conversely, if I come in and act beta and act unsure of myself and act like a fucking pussy, the girls are gonna respond negatively. And he's like, wow, like I never thought of it like that. Boom, you gotta make out, gotta pull. And me and my old business partner have this running joke, or it was, it's not running anymore, but <laughs> we had this running joke for a while. It was the coolest virgin in the club, right? Like you have this this virgin that's kind of like, it's, it's just a mindset shift. Right, and that's not all of it. There's still lots of strategy and tactics, which we also provided him. But that's the first thing that you need to get out of the way. Okay, and the analogy that I like to always use is that if you went into a car dealership and there was a rusted car with a lot of parts broken on it, and the guy's like, hey, do you want this fucking piece of shit? It's all rusted, it doesn't really work that well. This is broken, this is broken. Do you want to buy it, right? Of course not. And that's what you're portraying to the girls, okay? And part of the, the one last thing to add in here is this game, entails like a lot of like you're going to get rejections okay there's going to be girls who don't like you does that mean you should reinforce that feedback and and say oh look i didn't get another girl because i'm balding i didn't get another girl because i'm overweight i didn't get another girl because i'm 47 i'm too old or do you not let that fucking impact you okay as i say in the first module of occam's razor my product okay which is in the description how to get laid like a rock star link is below ultimate seduction system.com I say in the very first module, you have a brick wall here. These external events do not penetrate it. Your value stays at 100. Your potential value of how you view yourself stays at 100. That's the best frame to carry at all times. Okay, you, you, you walk around like you're selling a Lamborghini, not some rusted piece of shit, okay? If you don't believe in your own product, no girl ever will. Okay, and the problem that I see time and time again with, with clients, with guys in this community, is they have these negative views about themselves, okay? All different types of things. It varies from person to person. And as they get rejections or as a girl flakes, which is all natural parts of the game, still happens to me this day, okay? At 1,243 count. But as these things happen, they attribute it to them not being good enough, to them having such and such problems, to them having whatever, okay? The, the age thing, the, the, the ethnicity thing, the height thing. Okay, those things do play a factor, but a lot of them are out of your control. Okay, you can be in shape, that's in your control. You cannot dress like shit. You cannot have terrible hygiene. Those things are in your control. Okay, your ethnicity, your age, your height, they're not in your control. Stop focusing on them. Maybe it will put some girls out of reach, okay, because you're not tall enough for them or because you're not a white guy or because whatever that particular category of girls' preferences are, maybe you're just not her type. But who gives a fuck? There's plenty of other girls. There's plenty of, there's tons and tons and tons more than you could ever handle all around the world or, or even in your city that are gonna like you, okay? Attractive girls. So stop just reinforcing these negative stories. Go out there and make shit happen, okay? If you're interested in learning more, check the link below in the description, how to get laid like a rock star. Also make sure to check out the free dating training that I will link at the end, okay? It's labeled free dating training. It's 30 minutes, <clears throat> very, very cool production, kind of shows my backstory, and we're offering free calls, okay? No obligation free call with either myself or someone on my team where we can go over exactly where you're at in game and how we can help you. Okay, so check that out. If you found value, please like and share. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe below. Press the notification bell for new notifications every day about videos at 2 p.m. Eastern time. 
Okay, lots of really good shit coming. Very excited for this channel. Thank you guys for watching. And don't let your excuses stop you. I'm John Anthony, and have a great one. Take care. What's up, guys? I recently took a boot camp with John, with J-Mov, and that shit is legit. Now, I got laid with a 19-year-old and a 20-year-old girl right there at the boot camp. I'm a 45-year-old guy, and I usually date younger girls, but you know, in their 30s, you know, maybe early 30s or late 20s, these girls were 19 and 20, so we're talking about 25 years difference, massive age difference. And John really helped me um, remove my mental block that I had with dating such younger girls, because I could very, might as well be their dad, right? Uh, but he made it happen in a way that I, he removed my mental block. He just pushed me forward. He made it easy for everybody to just, you know, um, build a really a report and build a sexual tension. So I highly recommend a boot camp. You know, he doesn't, John doesn't push like you to do like crazy stuff or like uh, stupid warm up exercises. So he doesn't even believe in warm ups, right? It just throws you right into the fire. But to each, um, uh, each approach, it coaches you back. So once you, once you come back to the approach, from the approach, it tells you exactly what went right and what went wrong to, to every single approach. So it's really valuable. <clears throat> I mean, really invest your time and your money in a boot camp if you really wanna see a spike in your um, improvement in your daily life. So I highly recommend the boot camp. Any questions, uh, hit me up uh, via private message and I'll answer all your questions. I can tell you all the details about how the night went. So yeah. Check it out and uh, hit me up if you have any questions. Talk to you later. Bye. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.